Hi there, welcome to Dynamic Hosting Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create a staging site in Plesk using the clone function. So first things first, navigate to websites and domains, and then find the domain which you'd like to create a staging site for. Over here I'm going to use this domain here, and then right here in this tiny WordPress panel you can see a bunch of options, and the one we want to use is clone. So just hit on the clone option over here. Great, once that's done, it loads up with this window over here. So you can create a subdomain to copy these website files over to. There's a bunch of options you can pick from. Uh, staging is usually used for testing updates to plugins and themes before moving those to your live site. So set up a staging site, always have that and copy the files over, test your plugins. And then there's of course the dev site. So if you wanted to create a whole new website for your top level domain, that's this one, then you would use the dev option. Today I'm just going to be using staging. Over here is your database name, which I'm just going to leave as is. And then I'm going to hit start at the bottom here. It's going to take a while. It's going to create the files, the database and update configuration files. After that's done, we will go into the next window. That's all done. So now you can see the close option, which we will click. And over here, you will see you now have the staging site all set up. And you'd like to leave the search engine indexing off, of course, which it does on its standard options. So you'll see your top level has search engine indexing active. And then if you click on websites and domains over here, you'll see that you now have the staging site and uh, that's all there is to it and remember to install an SSL certificate on your staging site as it does not do that um, out of the box. Once you have finished developing your staging site and testing plugin updates and theme updates or building your new site on the dev uh, subdomain then to get that to your live site you simply hit the copy option over here. So what this does is the copy function will move the data from your staging domain and move it to the live domain, the top level. So over here you can see you have the option to select your target, which of course we're going to select the top level domain. And we want to replicate the files and the database. WordPress works in that it has files and databases. If you, for example, coded the website yourself, didn't have a database, then you would select files only. And then over here, we can see the database tables option. It is exporting all the tables except for posts. This is uh, especially important if you have a team working on blog posts and they've created some new posts that you don't want to lose that are on the top level domain. You keep this option active over here. So that'll keep all the new pages and stuff they develop. That'll keep it live and without change. If you were to unselect that option you might lose some posts. So over here you can see uh, restore points is also being selected in case anything does go sideways you now have the option to restore from the point before copying the data over. So once you're ready to move that live simply hit start and from here it's going to create the restore point copy over the files from the staging site over to the top level domain. Perfect, that's all done. So you can hit close over here. Now all the files from your staging site have been successfully copied over to your top level domain. And you can see everything works as expected over here. And we have the lovely encrypted lock icon up there. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.